unboxing videos have always created a buzz, but what if the box contained the most controversial device humanity has ever seen? In a quiet storage room in the United States, whispers suggest a black crate arrived with no shipping label and no customs record, carrying a generator that claims to defy every rule of physics as we know it. This is no ordinary generator. It is said to power itself endlessly without fuel, without solar, and without any external source, simply pulling energy from the invisible ocean of radio frequencies surrounding us. The name tied to this generator is Maxwell Chikambutso, a self-taught inventor from Zimbabwe who has been shocking the world for nearly two decades. Chikambutso's name is no stranger to those who follow radical innovation, as he has already introduced electric cars, helicopters, and buses that run without charging or fuel. But the generator is different because while a car can be dismissed as a prototype and a bus can be hidden away in a garage, a generator has the potential to power homes, cities, and entire nations. Imagine a shoebox-sized device quietly running your refrigerator, lights, and TV for years without ever plugging into the grid. That is the promise tied to this box now rumored to be sitting somewhere on US soil. But before we dive into the speculation of who will unbox it, whether Elon Musk or the Pentagon, let's understand what makes this generator so unusual. Traditional generators rely on combustion engines or renewable sources like solar or wind, requiring fuel or storage batteries to operate. Maxwell's generator, however, taps into RF technology, a process of capturing and converting radio frequencies, signals that already fill the air from communication towers, satellites, and even the static between radio stations. The device supposedly converts these frequencies into usable electrical energy, multiplying and stabilizing it in a way that delivers constant output without interruption. Skeptics call it impossible, pointing to the laws of thermodynamics, claiming energy cannot be created from nothing. But Maxwell argues it isn't creating energy, it's harvesting what we ignore every day, ambient RF signals that we fail to see as a viable power source. In Africa, reports suggest that early models have already powered homes and schools, allowing rural villages to skip the need for expensive grids and fossil fuels. If these stories are true, then what is inside that U.S. crate could be more valuable than gold, oil, or even uranium? Now let's rewind for a moment, because the journey of this generator didn't begin in the U.S. Maxwell Chikambutso grew up in Zimbabwe with little formal education but a powerful curiosity and drive to solve problems around him. As a teenager, he began experimenting with radio waves, electronics, and motors, eventually building small devices that could power themselves for hours. By the mid-2000s, he introduced his self-powered car, shocking local engineers and creating headlines across Africa. But his biggest challenge has always been gaining recognition from the global scientific community, which often dismissed his work as pseudoscience. Despite the skepticism, his inventions continued to appear, self-powered helicopters, drones, and most importantly, the generator that now lies at the center of global rumors. Some say African governments quietly encouraged him, while others believe powerful corporations attempted to silence him because his devices threatened trillion-dollar industries. Fast forward to today, and the rumors say that a shipment containing one of his latest generators was flown out of Africa under heavy secrecy. No airline records, no customs clearance, no photographs, just word of mouth from insiders claiming it was sent to the U.S. for testing. The first big question everyone asks is, who would test such a controversial machine? On one side, some speculate that Elon Musk, always hungry for disruptive energy breakthroughs, could be interested. Musk has been pushing for sustainable energy through Tesla's solar roofs and battery systems, but a self-powered generator would rewrite the entire playbook. It could make solar panels unnecessary, render batteries obsolete, and create an energy revolution Musk himself would want to control. On the other side, the Pentagon looms large as a possible player. A generator that never runs out of power would have profound military applications, from powering remote bases to running equipment in the field without logistics or fuel supply lines. It could reduce dependency on vulnerable supply chains, making U.S. forces far more agile and resilient. For the Pentagon, this is not just an energy breakthrough, it is a national security advantage. So which is it? Musk's private labs in Texas or the Pentagon's secretive testing facilities? No one can say for sure, but both have the motivation and both are silent. Meanwhile, the rumor mill spins faster, 
claiming that the device has already been unboxed in the U.S. Some say technicians in white coats gathered around it, nervously flipping the switch. Others whisper that it has already run for weeks without a single what of external input. And if that's true, then the world is standing on the edge of the most disruptive shift since the Industrial Revolution. Because once such a generator is proven, the concept of energy bills becomes meaningless. Homes would no longer need power plants. Factories could run independent of oil, coal, or even renewable infrastructure. Entire cities could operate in complete energy independence. And for Africa, where millions still live without electricity, this would be the final leap into modernity. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because history has shown us that disruptive technologies rarely appear smoothly. There are always forces ready to suppress, discredit, or monopolize such devices. Think of how Nikola Tesla's wireless power experiments were buried by powerful interests in the early 20th century. Think of how oil giants lobby against renewable energy adoption even today. If Maxwell's generator works as claimed, then there are billions, trillions even, of dollars at stake. Oil companies, utility providers, and even governments stand to lose control over energy markets. So will this generator ever make a public appearance? Rumors suggest that it may be unveiled under strict conditions once U.S. authorities complete their testing. Some even speculate it will appear in a joint announcement involving American labs and African representatives, positioning it as a collaborative breakthrough rather than an African-only invention. Others worry it will simply vanish, locked away in a classified program never to be seen again. For now, the public is left with breadcrumbs, statements from Maxwell, whispers of prototypes, and now the claim of a U.S. unboxing. And that leads to the biggest question, what happens if the U.S. approves it? If America gives the green light, the generator could be mass-produced, certified, and introduced to global markets. This would trigger a cascade of changes almost overnight. Energy poverty could be erased in developing countries. Household bills could shrink to zero. Factories could slash production costs. Transportation could shift into a new era where every vehicle is self-powered. And geopolitics would be rewritten as oil-rich nations lose their dominance. But if the U.S. rejects it, or worse, buries it, then the dream of a free energy future may remain hidden. Africa, however, may still hold the key, because this generator was born there and could resurface in African markets regardless of American approval. So here we are, standing at the edge of rumor and reality, waiting for someone brave enough to lift the lid on this mysterious box. Will it be Elon Musk tweeting a cryptic image of a glowing device? Will it be a Pentagon press release about a new energy security breakthrough? Or will it be Maxwell himself holding up the generator before the world, proving once and for all that Africa has created the most important invention of the 21st century? Whatever the answer, one thing is certain, if this generator is real, then the day it is unboxed will be remembered as the day everything changed. What most people fail to realize is that radio frequencies are everywhere, saturating the planet in ways we barely notice. Every mobile phone tower emits them. Every Wi-Fi router pulses them. Every satellite beaming signals down adds another layer to the unseen ocean of invisible energy around us. Maxwell's genius lies in not just capturing these signals, but amplifying and stabilizing them into a usable current that can continuously power electrical devices. Think of it like collecting raindrops. One drop alone is nothing, but if you collect billions of them in the right structure, suddenly you have a river that can drive turbines. In the same way, the self-powered generator is said to collect billions of tiny radio pulses and align them into a stable stream of electricity. If this principle works as described, then scale is no longer a problem. One small generator could power a house. A larger version could power a factory. And massive networks of them could run entire cities without the need for a centralized grid. It is a decentralized vision of energy, one that shifts power, literally, from governments and corporations into the hands of ordinary people. And this decentralization is precisely why the idea scares so many. For decades, energy has been controlled from the top down. Governments regulate it, corporations profit from it, and wars are fought over it. But with Maxwell's invention, the balance flips. A farmer in Africa could power his irrigation system without ever paying a utility bill. 
A family in New York could disconnect from the grid and never fear blackouts. A hospital in war zones could run life-saving equipment without relying on fragile supply chains. It is a future of independence, resilience, and equality if the device is allowed to exist. Now imagine the first unboxing moment. The box is opened. Inside sits a sleek device, no bigger than a desktop computer, wires neatly coiled and an interface glowing faintly. Scientists, engineers, or perhaps military officials gather around nervously, expecting disappointment. A switch is flipped. The lights flicker on. Minutes pass, then hours, then days, and the machine continues humming with no external input. At that moment, disbelief turns into realization, and realization into fear of what comes next. Do they announce it to the world immediately? Do they lock it away and claim it doesn't work? Or do they quietly begin designing a strategy to control its release, ensuring only the powerful benefit first? This is the fork in the road where humanity finds itself. Either the generator is shared openly, sparking the greatest technological leap since electricity itself, or it becomes another hidden secret buried under classified files. For now, we are left only with rumors. But sometimes, rumors are the first sign of truth. Because the whispers are growing louder, and the story of Africa's self-powered generator has reached the US. And once a story like this breaks into the world's biggest stage, it can never be fully contained again. So perhaps, very soon, the day will come when the lid is lifted before the eyes of the public. When Maxwell Chikambutso's invention is revealed not in secrecy but in broad daylight. And when that moment arrives, the unboxing of the world's first self-powered generator will not just be another viral video. It will be the spark that changes humanity's relationship with energy forever.